Smart Nano Core. Alarm bells already sounding. I heard that it's an upgraded version of Purple Core. Have, have I not been talking recently about how I bet it's a matter of time before we start getting golden nano cores? Because everyone's upgraded their purple ones, right? We need something new to sell them. Handsome and high quality. I heard that it can free hands, become a pilot's intelligent butler or navigation assistant. Last chance to back out, by the way, guys. Now, I don't believe this for a second, but if it's true, then here's my thoughts. I think it's time to stop acting like we own the game. I think it's time to look at the reality and see that this game will change its appearance into something else. In counterfarm active. It is time to decide. Not if we should quit the game and go into EVE Online, but if we should evolve with the game or not. Because this game evolution would be the death of many things that we have taken for granted and we should have stopped to compare EVE Echoes with EVE Online years back. They are not the same and the longer the time passes the less similar they will become. If there is any truth to this bullshit then it's up to you to either be eaten and forgotten or be a part of this evolution. That's what we're looking at here. Those are the people I don't like. The people who basically want to turn Eve Echoes into a country club where if you don't have the money or the right shoes, you can't come in without realizing that the race to the top of big spenders is a self-defeating one. Because okay, now you've made the game a hundred big spenders. Everyone else has quit. It's just those hundred. They're now all racing for that top position. Who can spend the most? Who can make sure that, you know, they are the one who's spending, spending, spending. And now suddenly there's 10 people who can't afford it anymore. Nah, it's getting a bit too much for me now, mate. You know, I, I, I need to, you know, sell my old hedge fund. So those people drop off. Now it's only 90 people competing for that top spot. Now it's 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 20, 10. It's now five people competing for that top spot. Who can be the biggest spender in a dead game? Now it's four, three, two. And finally you've got two people and one of them just goes, nah, mate, you can freaking have it. Because that second person has spent the second amount of money in the game to get absolutely nowhere. And the winner, the guy who ends up alone in a game that is, you know, he spent literally millions of dollars on at this point, is just a loser because he's spent millions of dollars and has nothing tangible to show for it. Like, congratulations, you were the last person in a video game before they shut the servers down. Oh. Well, that's not really how it works, is it? And calling the last players idiots for staying in a game, that's wrong in my opinion. Who are anyone to say what other people like? And definitely pointing out who is a loser is no better. And also just because some people make a lot of isk and probably might keep doing this is nothing weird. People do this in real life today, working to be the richest one in the graveyard. But that doesn't undermine what they've done in their life. Surely money is nothing compared to the love from friends. And Eve Echoes have a great community that will keep players here. Now if netties want to automate the grind in this game, then I will take advantage of that. I do agree that the boring grind is what we do to enjoy the game's bright side. It kinda is what makes everything have a value. Like I don't wanna lose my ship, I don't wanna grind for a new one. But this might be the end of this era in Eve Echoes as in many mobile games today. I just can't believe that they will automate the very thing that let us grind Omega. AFK. This makes no sense. I'm not totally against it, but if they take the focus away from that, then I'm sure that the focus will be in some other kind of grind that we are less used to. Because in games we are used to, you know, level up, we are used to farm for stuff, we are used to grind reputation, hunt for the best stuff and so on. But who knows what the future of gaming will be. I would say don't be so afraid of changes. You can just go back a few years and playing on the phone was a joke. AFK farming games were never expected to be a thing, but they sell the most today. I'm not saying I like this idea, I'm just saying that I will adapt. I will put my character to farm the boring dormants. But honestly, I think the biggest issue here is what we have been expecting. We all thought this was gonna be EVE Online on mobile, even I did in the beginning. We thought PvP and PvE and alliances and wars was gonna be the same. We also had our own goals and hope for this game. And it might just not be like that. Eve Echo's market is not even the same as Eve Online. And it's nothing weird that we're hoping for a game that we might never get. But I think it's time to stop. So you might ask like, Shay, what should we do then? If you ask me, I'd say, so what if they're making Eve Echo's into an idle game? What will really change in this case? I guess you don't manually have to play the parts of undocking, warping, mining, and then docking again and empty the ship. The game might do that for you. You don't have to manually pick up boring encounters and warp to the location and target everything and then warp back. 
Honestly, this is a change I would never expect, but what if? The PvP will still not be idle, I hope. Everything around farming and grinding will not be idle. If I could have Diablo grinding itself while I'm at work, and me just managing the character when I get home, it wouldn't be too bad. I could do my PvP and, and all my upgrades and still have a good time. But yeah, of course, expectations and rewards will be less intriguing. And sure, the game would turn into something else, but honestly, raiding and grinding, for example, elite areas, might have to be done manually anyway in the game. And, of course, PvP would still be manually. So what would this do to Eve Echoes? Well, if this is even true, which I hardly believe, this will make Eve Echoes a very different type of game. But why would they automate the very thing that we actually do to make Omega? It's time. It is time to just let this game die now, because this is what it is. Well, just because you're pissed and you don't get what you want, Try not to trick EVE Echoes players into playing EVE Online. They will not get the experience that they was hoping for in EVE Echoes. EVE Online is not the same. I played EVE Online for 16 years. EVE Echoes is or was so good because it was the way it was. We have autopilot, we got some auto mining with mining barges, we got auto target switches, we can play it anywhere and the list goes on. So moving mobile gamers to EVE Online will give them hours of manually clicking on stuff and weeks of just talking in discord with corp members not to be kicked. More spreadsheets than you would ever think, harder pvp, more serious wars and not forget the constant activity in high sec not to be suicided. I can't explain everything that will be a bad experience for EVE Echoes players in EVE Online but if you place a station in EVE Online with your corporation you will be in a war a few days later. EVE Online is harsh and if you ask me, it's the way it should be. But it does not make justice to tell EVE Echoes players that this is the only solution. Gaming will always change and the only ones who shall feel stupid is the players who today hang on prehistoric games and never try something new. And I see you guys again.